Emperor's worst nightmares underway as hundreds of enemy soldiers burn down his cities and slaughter his people. His legacy now tied with their deaths, and all he can do is watch his balcony. Fear and death. Strength and control. This is the way of life on the islands. Queenia! Far from any larger landmass, these islands travel alone, traditionally trading, and now united under one imperial leader. Just south of the main island is Arova, a people scarred from war, forced to comply with the empire. To the Ukraine, a loyal island run by an oppressive leader who feeds off his poor, a common marker. Crimean. In the center of wars between the capital of Avisa and the province of Modubi is the Emperor's Palace. The beating heart of a system that is now being passed down to young Valerian, the only child of the man who built the Terran Empire. These islands are now his, and the people look up to him for guidance. His legacy has now begun. In the following years, many of the poorer citizens of the Empire found themselves stuck in poverty. Emperor Valerian and his wealthier friends from Yaris would enjoy large feasts as greed quietly festered in the streets. The largest province on Moors, Moduvi, was under control of Alarai, cousin to the Emperor. Like most of his people, he was loyal to the old Emperor and despised watching his immature son flail around with such power. Under the cover of darkness, fights broke out in the southern provinces of Moors. The people had enough of the sickness and filth, and night after night, they grew their movement. Valerian took no interest in confronting these issues, choosing instead to wait out the protests. Meanwhile, Alarai of Moduvi traveled to Irova, an island dripping with hate for the Empire. He struck a secret deal with the leaders of Irova to set their island free in exchange for soldiers to topple Valerian's empire. The Irovan alliance was formed, and hundreds of people boarded ships to attack Moors. With superior numbers, Alarai charged into the surrounding provinces, defeating Valeran's army in every town. The protests in the southern provinces evolved into full rebellions. The war rattled the entire island. Nobody could be saved. But when Alarai's men broke into the Emperor's palace, Valeran was gone. was much more destructive than anyone anticipated. The power vacuum left loyal citizens of the Empire at the mercy of enemy soldiers. Over the coming weeks, squads erased any remaining loyalists, leaving nothing but a charred landscape and abandoned buildings. When the attack began, a panicked Emperor Valeran fled to Yaris, where he immediately took command of the island by having his men execute the leader on failure to defend Morris from attack. The rest of Yaris and the remaining Imperial soldiers dug in for a final fight. Few of the soldiers that left Erova to fight with Alarai came back. Trust in the Erovan alliance soured overnight, and Erova fell into a deadly civil war. Weeks later, Alarai's remaining troops chased the former emperor to Yaris, where they vowed to destroy the last remnants of the empire. At the castle, 
Elrai chose to kill his cousin himself. Valerian had one last trick up his sleeve. The death of old rulers left room for new opportunities. To heal. To grow. And to build civilization anew, ensuring every citizen gets their fair share. To mourn the people and the places that have been lost. To plant the seeds that will feed generations to come. This time things will be different.